Hey, Facebook, YouTube. All right. Look. Fourth quarter, y'all. It's fourth quarter. Y'all know what fourth quarter. Hope y'all know what fourth quarter means. Um, it means game is about to over, be over. You know what I'm saying? And things, like I told people on my videos, things got to get in the order, you know? And a lot of people, of course, I notice this thing about people that, you know, operate in the lust of the flesh and lust of the eyes and pride of life and want to do what they want to do. They, they don't too much dig orders, you know? They don't dig that order idea, you know, that you have to follow a direction. They like this, their direction, you know, kind of thing going on. But if you want to be a part of the kingdom of God, like Jesus said, J John 3.16, whosoever, yeah, whosoever. Not everybody. All right, now I'm finna talk about this. This, uh, you know, y'all notice I don't do itchy ear messages, you know? Uh, it's, you know, I'm kind of tired of people, you know, uh, ear, you know, I know it's ear, skin, ear dead skin, you know, everywhere in churches, you know. Uh, you hear a lot of messages that's about, you know, motivating you, you know, to, you know, have a relationship with God. But, you know, ignore the error that's really going on around you. Ignore the elephant in the rooms. But have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And, you know, you'll be all right. But just keep continue to ignore the elephant of division and the elephant of religion and the elephant of tradition. And elephant of a lot of things going on in church. But, you know, maintain your relationship with God and, you know, everything will be all right. But that's not going to work in a kingdom, you know, not because the kingdom was established, you know, to follow, you know, the word of God, you know, and the word of God does not say that, you know, kingdom of God is about uh, unity, you know, yes, not, you know, hmm, do what I want to do, you know, and live in color. You know, not that. Uh, <laughs> watched this so many times, y'all. But anyway, um, this day I'm going to talk to you about the reality of one body and many members. But y'all got it like one building that I'm in a member of, you know. That everybody has these members, mm. like a, a building, yeah, the building church, they call it, you know, that, you know, they say that we do this at our church like this, and we do this at our church, aka building, we do this, you know, and, hmm, wait a minute, a Bible says one body and many members many 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 so what is that saying you know well th what it's supposed to be saying is that you know in the ideal reality of christianity that there's supposed to be uh that everybody is supposed to be a member of the body of christ you know <laughs> there's no cliques or there's no uh click churches you know there's no you know i'm part of such and such and such a church and such and such and such a church there's supposed to be a reality of the church yeah <laughs> yeah it's just the church you know yeah, the church that you know is all about unity and unifying in ways and shape or form to do the things of God to bring increase in the kingdom of God that is supposed to be the reality to it you know what I'm saying but a lot I see a lot of people are still stuck in the fantasy of that you know it's just um that I, I go to this such and such and such a church and I go to that such and such and such a church and this is how we do it in that such and such a church and 
you know, and we don't really fellowship with that other such and such. I'm like, we're, we're, Christ, we're Christians. We are Christians, you know. I did a message, you know, called the Unite Christian you, you Christian united, some the reality of Christian unit unity, united, and with without unity we can't be Christianity. That you know a lot of people are not trying to understand. Understand they know they kind of know, they know, but they're not trying to understand this reality that unification has to take place, and it's not supposed to be some kind of you know, click association that, you know, we got this ministry going on over here and y'all got y'all ministry thing going on over there and we good. No, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be based upon unity. And we are the member, we, we are a member of a body that is, uh, that if you are a Christian and you profess to be a Christian, that you need to unify to be together with, you know, this reality. You know what I'm saying? You got to get together with this reality. And people are not really looking at it like that, you know, or not really seeing that they should start looking at it like that. You know what I'm saying? That we need to throw, really, the name of our church badges in the garbage can because... We're not going to be no more, you know, your such and such and such a church anymore. That's going to disappear. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be Christians. <laughs> yeah. we gonna, The name of your church is going to be the church of whatever city you're located at. Yeah, that's going to happen soon. Um, church, the church is going to get out of just being a, an, in building on a corner. No, we're going to be a, a, a unity in the community doing all kind of festivities. Yes, festi unity, community, festivities, yeah. That brings unification of the reality of seeing, you know, Jesus Christ reflected. You know what I'm saying? Reflecting Jesus Christ. It's going to be about going outside and doing more uh, things among the community. Not sitting and lay back in, in our building <laughs> and lay back on Sunday in our building and Monday. No, we're going to be more focused on doing more things for the community like we should be. To uh, and, and, and every many member that says that they are of Christ will participate in carrying out this situation out. You know what I'm saying? That's how... It really supposed to be concerning a church. You know, there's not supposed to be all these name churches names and stuff like that. No, they're supposed to be just church, the church. That's it. That guy, the church. You know, that's it. And we're supposed and the church that is one body and many members. And the thing is, and when we become that, then now God can really participate in His church. That's when it's His church. It's not his church when we got all this uh, side, uh, a, a addition to it that you don't realize, unwanted addition that, you know, he never really, you know, got into, was about. But uh, the church is going to get a one body and many members. So you're going to be a part of the many member church, not the one building church member, but the many if you if you are about Jesus Christ, you know, and the gospel of Jesus Christ, that you will be a participate in this event that just is about one body and many members that are of uh, that Christians that are everywhere that say that they're of Christ, that we, you know, we will come together. We will or we shall come together. Now, if you're going to be a part of it. We don't know if you're going to try to think you can click God's body and think you're supposed to be clicking. I call it clicking it's not God's body. Well, you're over there. But uh, as for, you know, the true Christians and true 
people of the kingdom of God, we shall be united in the spirit and united in the faith. Like, you know, kind of like, you know, Ephesians 4 kind of talk about. Yeah, we're going to be united like that. So understand that's going to happen. And if you still down with your clique, you're not with this. You know, you're not with the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, that means you have to follow orders of a king. And become a servant. Not about you being served. But you know become a servant. A true servant. Yeah. And have a great time. And wonderful time. And see what God is going to do. And God is going to be God regardless. Whether you are not participating with him. Or not. You know he's God. And he's going to be God regardless. Alright that's the message. I hope you got it. I hope I set the record straight. To those you know that are of Christ and of God that is going to participate in the things that God sent. So you won't be shocked, you know, when it comes. All right. To God be the glory here and forever, ever. In Jesus name. Amen.